Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Plumada Banana and this is Mount and Blade Warband. In the last episode we fought some step bandits. We basically just ran around and I told a story about King Richard and well Leopold of Babenberg. That was yeah, basically all that we did. Pretty short episode. I just remembered that the camera is a bit off. Or well, the view uh, view. If you want to call it like that, I call that. And this time we're going to maybe go on a shopping spree. I don't know. See if we can find something. I just bought a horse for Mathelt. Yes, for Mathelt. I just couldn't remember. Uh, what I want to f actually get is a blunt weapon. I also gave my crossbow away to, <clears throat> excuse me, to Borja, who needed it the most. And now I'm gonna try and see, yeah, that's actually something that I'd like. I like step chargers. Those horses are pretty good. They have a good maneuver. They have quite good speed. I think um, 40, well... I think the Corsas have the highest speed. Yes, the Corsa has speed 50, but that's pretty much impossible. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that horse. Screw it. We're poor again. Need to win some tournaments, but hey, this horse is amazing. So basically, Mathel is no longer an infantry uh, class. Gonna move it to cavalry. Butcher guy, gotta talk to you. Take my horse, my old one, and you're now cavalry as well. Perfect. So we have uh, quite some cavalry now. We have five units of cavalry. Uh, those Swadian men at arms are superbly strong. Uh, you can check those. Uh, you can check their stats. As you can see, they're pretty good. They're level twenty-one. It's pretty amazing. And I do think they have quite some equipment as well. Also, they can be upgraded once to Swadian Man at Arms, but they are so expensive, so we really need to get some cash right about now. So, oh, Ethereum is on a siege. Hmm, that sucks. So, with the group of. Well. Hmm, interesting. Why is our... Why is this so bad? Anyways, with uh, the group of people that we now have, or our warband basically, we can't really go and fight uh, people over here. There are, so, there are so many bandits around here, but there are all those stupid horse archers, which are so superbly fast. Uh, okay, that's interesting. So the Nords and Swadia made peace. So basically now Dirim oh Dirim was under siege by the Vagirs, now that's interesting. I didn't think about that. Interesting. Oh that's a caravan, alright. Fair enough. I'm still looking for some specific guys to hire. Alright, that's not what I need. So now that we're pretty much broke, we need to get money back and the best... Well, there are two ways, exactly, what I was looking for and I was about to say two ways to get money is win a tournament and fight bandits, in my opinion. You could, all, you could also just go along and uh, do some quests like deliver a oh, heavy charger. That, that guy is also pretty damn good, but I like the step charger. You could all, uh, what I was about to say, you can also do quests like, um, oh, damn it, it's not too bad. You can also do quests like deliver a, a letter to another, another, what's it called, another duke or something, sucks really bad, the worst quests, you can, uh, you can believe me. Uh, figured out. Can't couch there, so let's get rid of the mounted unit. Would be good. See ya.
Yeah, I think I had, yeah, I had uh, couching cooldowns, so I couldn't do that. I don't think I can get enough speed here, so I'm gonna just knock him out regularly. Perfect. As long as I'm getting good RNG on the weapons, which I did not in this case, I should be alright. Ah, okay, so we practically circled them. That was pretty fast. So let's see who's still on the tournament. Okay, two counts. All right, that should be that should be doable. The counts are sometimes pretty damn strong. So, come on, stay here. Let's see if we can get rid of one of the. Come on, get on the horse. Wow, smacked him in the head. The champion fire got the higher play. That's good. Uh, if I can get rid of aggro here, it would be great. If you can call it uh, aggro, I don't know. So if the green guy could... No, you don't want to take out the red one? Great. Well, I think the, the red guy wanted to get the green guy, which in turn bought me some time to smack him in the face. Now uh, that guy had a two-handed sword, so basically wasn't the best weapon of choice there. But he could choose, so that's, that's a thing. You... There are some mods which I really like. Ah, uh, okay. Doesn't matter, just charge. Um, that kind of... Whoa! That was sneaky as hell! You bastard! Ha! Look at that! Just turn around, snack... Nope. Waiting for the strike. Hmm. That guy's fast. Don't like that. Oh, that sneaky bastard. He. Wow. How did he do that? Oh, that sucks. Oh, let's try to feast. Damn it, lost so much money there. Did you see that? That was a feint. He fainted there. Interesting, didn't know that this is actually possible. Oh, that's a count? Didn't even know. Oh, sorry, didn't want to kick you in the face. At your service. Yeah, Vassal of the Kingdom, Lord's... Okay. Ah, your fame runs before you. Yes, yes. Uh, Interesting, but I must be back in my leave. I really don't like the quests. I'm just basically talking to them because... Uh, yeah, I wanted to see if my was, you know, just uh, raise my opinion of them, which I didn't. Ah, crap. I'm really, <clears throat> I'm really salty now. I shouldn't have lost that. Now we have just a thousand dinars left. Uh, well. Uh, 300, perfect. He isn't that expensive. Less Elite would be the another, another guy that we want, but I don't think we should have forced him right now. Uh, we have 700 dinars, and I do think our weekly costs are way higher than that. Yeah, they're too close. Too close for comfort. Actually, I don't want him up there. He isn't the greatest fighter, but he has some really nice stats. He's kind of good at... Oh, he will be our surgery guy. He has really high int. So, I'm going to level his surgery. Which is a party skill, as you can see on the top right corner. Um, basically, gives a chance that a peop uh, just one of our guys is just wounded rather than killed, which is really good if you stack it up. Uh, first aid isn't is okayish, but I think uh, wound treatment that was the one that I was uh, that was uh, I was looking at because healing kind of takes a long ass time, and I don't like that. Also, what I want to do with him is uh, he has nine strength, so that's all right. So I don't know if I, if I really give him a horse. I think I just give him a really strong crossbow and put him up with, uh, well, our crossbowman in the archery line. And I do think he's doing all right there. Usually he's doing all right. Ah, uh, 11 surges. Can we get them, actually? 
Yeah, they're Nord archers. You really need to be aware when you chase or when you try to fight the Surtus. It's not like, oh, well, those just the Surtus. They're, they're not that strong. Well, sometimes you have the Surtus, like, I don't know, a mixture of Rodok sharpshooters and, I don't know, some knights of well, the knight class of them. I don't know, the, the heavy melee type class of them. And you get just owned. That's really, really, you really have to be careful. Or you get, I don't know, Huskal, what's it called again? Huskal deserters, then you get, get owned again, so you really need to be careful there. Before we chase them down, let's see if everybody's there where I want them to be. That uh, looks great. I'm gonna move up the crossbowmen though. I don't want the man at arms in this battle. The trainee, trainee, infant. Nope, you're gonna. Uh, you're an archer now, even though you have no archer equipment. No bow, I should say. Alright, they want to drink from my skull, that won't work. I don't know how you want to do that, seeing that, you know, my skull has a lot of holes, so anything you put in there would just spill out immediately. But alright, don't judge. So archers, let's put them up as high as possible. The rest of the rest will just stay there. Uh, cavalry is okay. Our cavalry just two of our uh, heroes, our heroic friends, and the infantry will greet them over there. Let's see formation orders. Uh, stand together. Put up a shield wall, that's alright. <clears throat> well, you can move up, actually. They're all just trying to get my ranged people, it seems like. Let's let the infantry charge now. Let the cavalry charge, it's alright. Gonna move over there to get that longbowman. Ow. Who did that? Who dares? Shoot me in the back. Are you? You were trying to. Nope. Not gonna. Not gonna get me. Or maybe you do. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you dare step. Step. My horse. Or my horse will step on you. Great. So. I think we're gonna move up a bit. If we can. Maybe just cavalry here. Actually, let's put the cavalry over there. I think our archers should have enough range to... Yeah, you can see them firing. It's great. Love it. Uh, you know, let's let the cavalry charge. Because we can. Should be right. Ah, man, I'm so bad. Uh, basically, why did I get... I, I don't think I talked about this. Why did I take uh, this horse over the others? Um, well, I love maneuver maneuverability. Maneuver is great. So you can, you know, get a way smaller radius on, on curves. And that's just amazingly good, I think. Sometimes you'll have a really, you know, forestry area, foresty area. Or basically you fight in forests, to say the least. And if that happens, you can get screwed if your horse is not... Well, if your horse just can't, can't go through there. Sadly enough, she got knocked off the horse, which is bad. They... We lost one footman. Oh, come on! I think Sea Raiders are worth more. I'm not sure on that, though. Anyways, I'm gonna take him. So, basically... I like I like just if a horse that, that has high maneuverability. That's just... That's just my thinking there. And another 17. Come here! No, you will not! They have kind of a German accent, I think. At least it sounds like it. Uh, everybody follow me, please. If at all possible. 
Ah, great. So let's park the archers over here. Let's put the horses down there. Let's let the infantry charge. See, that's that's an example of a really, really bad terrain for us. Okay, now the horses can charge. I like that. Ah, that wasn't smart. That wasn't smart. I blocked. I blocked my horses. That's even worse. Oh well, my cavalry basically. So you shouldn't. Yeah, smack that guy in the head though. I hope we don't lose any cavalry, man. That would be pretty bad. I mean, on the other hand, it could help sustaining our money a bit better because we we're paying a crap ton of money for them. That was based. That was one of these charge him and smack him attacks. Which are amazingly good. So it seems like we're pretty much done here. Yep, that was it. Hooray! Hooray! I just love to do that, I don't know why. Perfect! Killed all of them, lost none. We're full, manhunt to suck. They do, really, believe me. Let's check your cabbages, because sometimes they rot, which would be bad. I mean, nobody likes cabbages, and rotten cabbages are even worse. So, alright, they're fine. Let's see, Thal's level up, did she now? Yeah, she did. Pretty high, though. That's good, that's good. Uh, leadership, that's uh, that's an attribute that you want on your... On, uh, to call it the noble ones, I think. And noblemen, noble women in that case. Because uh, when you grant them a, f a thief, a fife, a, I don't know, basically their own holding, I think that the leadership determines how big their army can be. So having them leveled up is, is pretty good. So this guy is going to be a, I think, a crossbow man. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll set him up as, as an archer, but then again, he hasn't really high strength. Nor does he have enough agility for that. And he, oh well, he's level four, so that's not even that that high. The thing is, bows only get better in the late game. Most crossbows perform way better in the early in the early game because they don't have these um, power draw um, abilities. So you can see, let's like, the character use more powerful bows. Each point, each point to the skill. Increases bow damage, so basically, if you don't have power draw, you don't, you you you're not getting anything out of it. And I like this guy to be my movement guy, so I think pathfinding four would be what I want him to take for now. And I think I'll go to strength nine, so he, well, he'll be the guy to. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna put him into archery. Why the hell not? A trained archer is pretty good. Let's just put it that way. If you can get him up there, he's great. Oh, well, you can be too. So it's not not wrong to play an archer. It's it's pretty uh, archery is pretty strong, but as I said, it, it has a pretty high learning curve, which I don't don't really see it's nec see necessary see it's necessary. Uh, Nineteen C raiders. Yeah, I want them. Can I? Ah, perfect. So we are in the snowy regions again. We have an advantage only get four renown for this battle because we have, well, the we have more troops than they do, and you know they. Wait, what? Ah, well, let's just charge here. Yeah, let's let's everybody charge, except for the archers. Nope, I wanted. Ow! I want just wanted the archers to go up there. Come on! And let's dig the cavalry out of there. Stupid Borcher. There's no idea how to go about this business, I guess. So, yeah, the, the infantry can charge, and no problem with that. Uh, let's let the, the cavalry, uh, cavalry move out. 
They don't have enough... Uh, what's it called? Well, they, they have, don't have enough charge up time there. Ow! Now that should be alright. Didn't need a while to, to get up to couching speed. I think they have... Yeah, they have lances so they can couch, which is amazing. But... There... That was... Was it pathetic, right? I think. Yeah. Great. Ah, damn it. You never want to stab. That's actually why I... That's why I really like maces in this game. Because you, you, you usually... You can't, you can't stab with a mace. If you get a mace, you basically always get to swing or go for the overhead. And that's, that's actually pretty good. In my opinion. Let's release the Tiger Ban and take the Sea Raider because I do think that they are worth more. I'm not 100% sure on that, but still. Let's get rid of the knife because it's pretty cheap and crappy. The bent longbow, cracked longbow, cracked longbow. Those are basically worth nothing. And simply the chipped axe. And take the bows and the. Eh, well, that's alright. That's, that, that should be some money though. Seize, that's... Oh no, that's just the one bandit that I released. Let's get the Tundra bandits. We'll have our pay. We'll have our fun. <laughs> yeah, you think so, but I'm gonna teach you that you're wrong. Everybody follow me. That's basic start, I think, that you should take. Archers, go over here. Let's put the cavalry on the side. Take infantry over there. Oh, we only have one cavalry guy, so that's not too good. Let's charge. Let's charge. Get that guy. Ah, damn it. What? Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's not good. If you... Was I so... Was I hurt that bad? Okay. The auto resolve in this game is so poor. We are going to lose so many men. Yeah, what an attack. And uh, Swatting Footman is actually pretty good. Continue. Alright. Alright. Was I that hurt? Or did I got sniped pretty bad? I, I didn't. I, I really don't know. Well, was my own fault. Was my own fault. Same thing. Same, uh, same thing almost happened yesterday. Yeah, yesterday actually. Uh, well, on Sunday. I don't know when this. Uh, when I think this video will be put up on Tuesday, so I don't know. Uh, well, basically, uh, what I say, what I what I mean by that, by I almost that almost happened. I was playing. Uh, well, I was playing a pen and paper with with some friends, and I was kind of just. Casually calculating the damage that my 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 character took, and I was like, "Yeah, I can take that. That's that's all right. I I still have enough HP left." And then I looked at it and recalculated it. I was like, "Man, that something that something's wrong. Something feels wrong." And then I realized, "Oh crap! That last hit took me down to, I think, six HP or something." So I, I pretty much, yeah, I almost died. I, I almost died there, which would have been pretty bad. We have some pretty strict rules when it comes down to dying in that, that game. Uh, if you ask what kind of, uh, what kind of pen and paper you're, you're playing, I can't really tell because, well, it's one that uh, we basically, my friends and uh, my friends and I, but not really, mostly my friends. I, I didn't do that much. Um, developed ourselves, so basically it's it's our own one as it's our own pen and paper. A friend of mine wrote the story, pretty pretty good. It's a really nice story. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. Really looking forward to the next session. Usually doing that just uh, once a month. About that's about our rule. All right. So since we got almost killed, which is pretty bad, we really need to. Really need to take a step back, sell all the crap that we have. Yeah, he has enough to pay for that. That's great. Maybe we're just going to do some... Oh no, is this a belligerent drunk? 
And that's not good. Let's pull them. Let's let's. No, it's just ransom broker. All right. Oh, ransom broker. Yeah, that's great actually. Sell some crap, and I think then we're done. So let's see. A tiger pen is one hundred and four, and the sea raider is yeah one hundred and twelve. See, I I, I I was right. They were a bit uh, worth a bit more. Not much, but still, just a tiny bit. All right, great. Let's see. Whoa, re oh, holy crap. I really don't like the coat of plates. I don't know why, I don't like it. I really I like the heraldic mail. It, I think it looks pretty cool. Or, you know, lordly mail with surcoat. I like the surcoats. They look awesome. But way too expensive. Way, way too expensive. Sometimes you get a battered one or something. That's pretty good, but... The, the Vega Elite armor... I don't like it. I, I don't like the style of the shoulder plates here. I don't know why. It's just... I don't I, I don't think it looks cool. Serenade armor, yeah, it's it's okay-ish. But it's not bad not much better. It's even worse than Yeah, it's even worse than our uh, Bernie. So what do you want to do if you are on horseback a lot? Um good boots. Really high high armor boots are something that you should take because you get struck in the boot uh, in the legs more often than not. Um Helmet, yeah, not so much unless you get sniped, which is pretty bad if it happens. So helmet is uh, is always good, but uh, not that necessary. I think, I th yeah, I think this the yeah the the scale gauntlets just add to your body armor. So if we can find cheap ones that are a bit better than that, we're gonna take them. But those are pretty crappy. Anyways, I think we're done for today. Day. So thanks for watching guys, hope to see you next time and as always, auf Wiedersehen.